This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Roddy! And guess. Oh, hip hip chili oh banners and mash, here we go, it's British oh, Hour, boy. or Miles Edgeworth, Ace Attorney Investigations. Miles, that wasn't the British no, accent at the, at the end. <laughs> Sorry. That's um, fine. We're still in the imprisoned turnabout. And we're, we're American conf after all. We're confronting <laughs> Palpatine and his royal dog in the dark side prison cell. Sweet. Oh, there's a guard! Oh boy! <laughs> there's, there's a guard. This is the best part! <laughs> Judge Courtney, what are you doing here? Questioning a prisoner. Did you forget that we're investigating as well? Or rather, have you forgotten my warning? If you value your badge, you should not have appeared before me again. I'm sorry if you thought that I would abide by those words. <laughs> I won't overlook something important just to heed your warning. I've come for a testimony about the truth of this case, which you have overlooked. You mean to say that you require my humble services? Look at that dog. As I promised, I've returned to prove that you are the culprit. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Do tell. Objection! Objection! That doesn't sound that crazy. It just sounds like objection! Before that, you should first listen to our reasoning. We can say with confidence that Simon Keyes is the culprit. Only Simon Keyes could have moved Mr. Knightley into the prison. And we can show proof of this fact. But first, I'd like to hear your resolve, the pro pro Prosecutor Edgeworth. <laughs> Why can't I say that? If our reasoning is correct, will you submit it to us? Your prosecutor's badge. You... <laughs> You will deprive him of his badge? Uh, is that a threat, pal? No, it is not a threat. Rather, an act of compassion. Normally, I wouldn't even have taken notice of you since you have no right to investigate. However, if you are able to show proper resolve, I would be willing to let you be my opponent. Opponent? opponent. I, don't, I don't know why I said that. Are you willing to risk it? Your prosecutor's badge? Mr. Edgeworth. Mr. Edgeworth, sir! I do love that pose. Very well. I trust my own reasoning. But moreover, at the moment, I am currently a defense attorney's assistant first and a prosecutor second. I will not sully the good name of the Edgeworth Law Offices. I intend to see my job through. I won't yield to your threats. So be it. Is this bravery or simply foolishness? On the goddess of law's behalf, I shall be the judge of that. Sebastian, allow me to. Yeah, I got it. I'm counting on you, Justine. Thank goodness. Thank goodness we're not going to be to battle of wits with a child. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> on behalf... Of, of the everyone. Artie and Marty Let's Plays. Everyone I apologize knows. to everyone who was um, offended by this. Um, <laughs> I did bad Artie, ones too. Artie, we have like the worst voices. For no, we, we've got some pretty awesome voices. We have some pretty awesome And then there's the guards. And then there's the guards. And then there's the guards that we apologize for. I'm not apologizing for the guards. They're Those great. are great. You better love them. I presume you know of the incident Mr. Knightley caused the day before yesterday. He attacked a guard and stole the keys. Afterwards, Simon Keys stopped by his cell with an animal cage from the show. You're giving her a really loud, like, kind of itchy voice. During this time, Mr. Knightley was able to use the stolen key to exit his cell. My goal is to not make it Francisca, so I have to keep being like, overruled in my mind. Overruled. Overruled. He then hid the cage. He, he then hid in the cage while it was moved to the prison workroom. Oh, um, that's who how they moved think. it? Simon. They said Simon Knightley moved. got in. Knightley got in the cage. So what, Mr. What? Keys went to his cell after all. After hearing you talking about the security camera yesterday, we investigated it ourselves. Yeah, this is better. Why don't you have a look? I have here a printout of the security camera footage. 
This is the moment when Mr. Keys visited Nightly. Exactly. As you can see, the cage created a huge blind spot in the cell. By using this... <coughs> I don't know why I choked on my own spit. By using this blind spot, Mr. Knightley could have entered the cage. I almost did the stage. That is our reasoning. Hmm, a blind spot. That means... The camera doesn't actually show him entering the cage. At this time, there's still the possibility that Knightley never left his cell. But why would he be hiding inside an animal cage? Mr. Knightley was planning to escape from the prison. That is the only possibility. A prison escape? That's so cool! First Mr. Elbert, and now Mr. Knightley! I won't let them show up! Oh, show me up! Okay, this isn't the time to get excited. J. Elbert's escape is no laughing matter. Simon Keyes was aiding Mr. Knightley in his escape. In other words, he was an accomplice. Not bad, Simon! Don't praise him! That cage was transported temporarily to the workroom. Originally, Mr. Knightley was to remain hidden until the end of the animal show. He would then be carried out along with the cage. I presume that was his plan. However, midway through the plan, he was betrayed by Simon Keyes and murdered. Judge Courtney's reasoning does appear to make sense. However, there must be a hole somewhere. I must not overlook anything. Dogan's just like, this, this is, is the, the best, best TV, TV ever. show ever, yeah. even though I can't see it. <laughs> he can hear it, though. Yep. I presume you know of the incident. Hold it. Ding, 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 ding. Judge Courtney, about this incident. You do not know of it? That would be unbecoming of you, Ace Attorney Miles Edgeworth. Hmm. <laughs> Naturally, I know of it. However, you said... In that case, this is a waste of time. I shall continue, Mr. Knightley. I'm not Mr. Knightley. <laughs> oh, either it's parenth comma, Mr. Mr. Knightley. Yeah. Period. Mr. Knightley, then Oh, it's did it, dot, was dot, it a dot, period? Dot. Yeah. Do you have proof Knightley stole the keys? It is the only explanation as to why Mr. Knightley would have attacked the guard. Or he's just a colossal butt, which we already know. <laughs> he murdered his co-worker out of petty jealousy. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh man, I just gotta be the leader. That's exactly it's literally what literally like, imagine if you wanted to be the first member of the DK crew, so you kill off all the other Kongs. And then Donkey Kong, then in Donkey that Kong. order. <laughs> it's like, no, but it's like if you kill off Donkey Kong, it's like, well, obviously I have to be the leader now. <laughs> Kitty like, Kong, no one's making you the leader. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we will know for certain the moment the guard regains consciousness. Is that really true? Nightly knocked him out unconscious for days? Dang, that guy's strong. Also, like, well, yeah, he's a bodyguard. He's got that's, some, that's true. He's got some muscles. Should I ask Judge Courtney for more information? Sure. Why would you not? There is one point in your reasoning that is odd. If Knightley did indeed steal the key, I'd expect he'd try to escape immediately. Was it really necessary for him to wait for Mr. Keys to help him escape? He simply chose the method with the highest probability of success. After stealing the key, he concealed it on his personage. As he waited for the opportune moment, that is what I believe. He concealed the key. Judge Courtney, such an oversight is unlike you. Knightley could not have concealed the key, and I can prove it. Knightley did not hide the key, and the proof is... The chessboard? Because there's that spot that you could hide it and it's not there. <laughs> Judge Courtney, don't you have a problem with that statement just now? Should I have a problem with it? Hmm, <laughs> exactly. Because there's no problem at all. In that case, you should have refrained from speaking in the first place. No! I don't think that left a good impression. <laughs> oh. Is this the same one again? Why can I skip through this? I don't know. His visit to Knightley's cell ended up drawing suspicion, as one would imagine. Simon was just... Uh, just clumsy. His clumsiness led him to bring the cage to the detention center. Or he brought the cage to help Mr. Knightley escape. I always trouble over my words whenever I'm doing accents. You know? Mm -hmm. I've always noticed that yep. with Lotta, but I do with this as well. 
Lana just like, Wah! just like slurs everything together. <laughs> yep. Which explanation do you think is more natural? Well, I didn't think, I, I thought this was a repeat because I could skip through it. I don't it's know. Fine. Ugh. I see, you understand. And now I can't skip through it. Simon Keys carried the cage to the... He's so strong and no! no! <laughs> <laughs> He's actually the, the Hulk. Thought? He's actually the Hulk. <laughs> that would be stupid. Uh, to the detention center. During, During this time, time, he was able to use the stolen key. Do you have proof Knightley stole the keys? It's the only explanation as to why Mr. Knightley would have attacked the guard. You will know for certain. Oh, it reset to the beginning of the testimony. Could you please continue with your reasoning? Yes. <laughs> Mr. Knightley used the stolen key to leave his set. Okay, that was weird. Okay, that's why... Wait, I'm very confused he now. He stole his keys. I'm really confused. Oh, right. whatever. Why would he have needed to do such a thing? And why is this testimony so weird? <laughs> In order to escape, how else would you explain his actions? Hmm, that is... In animal cages are made of metal. They would not have been subjected to a check. The animal show takes place once a month. So naturally, Simon Keys would have known about it. Nah, that wasn't enough to negate her point. As long as the cage was covered, it would have been simple to avoid the guard's eyes. But instead of helping Mr. Knightley escape, Simon Keyes betrayed and killed him. This is a truly unforgivable crime. She says Mr. Knightley stole the keys, but he denied it, didn't he? Unless Knightley had the keys, this logic doesn't hold up. This will be the breaking point. I'll try pressing the testimony further. Maybe when the guy, uh, blah. Maybe when Mr. Sot, like, tried to pickpocket him, he pocketed the key. He was like, this? This tattoo will protect, protect me, me from, from harm? harm. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but... Knightley did not hide the key, and the proof is in the... The, the keys? The, the keys? You're an idiot. Haven't the guards informed you yet? They searched Knightley after he attacked the guard, and the key was nowhere to be found. Since the key's location is unknown, your logic doesn't hold. That is not an issue. There is an explanation. Mr. Knightley had the key. It simply wasn't found. The reason being, he concealed it inside the chessboard. See, I had the idea. The chessboard? You mean the one that concealed the murder weapon? If he really wanted to hide it, he would have eaten it. Like Phoenix right? Or, like, uh, Job from Arrested Development. <laughs> I haven't seen that. Oh, yeah. Or just, like... <laughs> oh, no, no. That's also from Arrested Development. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Come now. How do we know whether or not the murder weapon was really there? What? Take some responsibility for your own words. That was all Sebastian's idea, after all. So those two don't always agree on their reasoning. She just totally threw Sebastian under the bus there. Oh, absolutely. He's like, what? He's like, I didn't do that. <laughs> he drops the British accent when he's really upset. Yeah. I didn't do that. that. <laughs> he's just faking the British accent. <laughs> that's possible. They're, she's, they're she's in British. America, after all. She's British, and she's like, now, you need to be British like me if you're going to work with me. And he's like, oh, okay, then, cheerio, mate. And then, like, <laughs> puts it on. And then when he's, like, actually just, like, a brooding teenager, he's like, mom. He's actually like, uh, Justine, uh, I really don't know about this. <laughs> he's got the Batman. He just turns into Batman. In other words, once we put all the pieces together, Mr. Knightley can concealed the key he stole from the guard inside the chessboard. When Simon Keys arrived, Mr. Knightley used the key to slip out of the cell. He entered the animal cage and was transported to the workroom. All thanks to his accomplice, Simon Keys. <laughs> Mr. Knightley had planned to be carried outside after the show had ended. I do really like the CG of, of Simon, like, oh, this it's is so, so heavy! heavy. <laughs> However, he was betrayed by his accomplice and murdered during the circus performance. Mr. Keyes performed in the show. He would have had no opportunity to murder him during the circus performance. Can confirm. What? No opportunity. Is that so? A story plays itself out on the stage. And such was the case with the animal show. So she examined the content of the show. The suspect plays the role of the villain who antagonizes the elephant heroine. 
In the final act, the villain is defeated by the heroine's love and all is ends well. At that point, the suspect in the role of the villain is blown away by the heroine's burning love and makes his exit. <laughs> Look at how amazing that is! <laughs> blown away by the elephant? That would really hurt. Was he hurt? After being blown away, the suspect disappeared from the stage. The suspect was absent from the stage for about 15 minutes. Are you saying the crime was committed during that time? Even in such a short period of time, it would still be possible to carry out the murder. No. Not really, no. If you're off stage, <laughs> say you're the villain, you're like, you've been on stage and you've been fighting, and then it's like, oh no, I'm dead! I don't know why I did that. But, I'm dead! You're so thirsty, you're drinking water, you're going to the bathroom, if the bathroom's backstage. You're getting he changed. Bre he breaks out the portable water bottle while stabbing. <laughs> 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 He's like, I really need my water right now. Um... Uh, also, you have to change, because they probably have bows, so he has to be, like, in his, like, best costume. <laughs> it's like splattered in blood. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the stage effects are great. great. Don't you think so? <laughs> They're great. Hedros like, I hate the circus. So, he committed the crime in 15 minutes and then returned to the stage. That may have been possible if the crime scene had been the prison. Judge Courtney, the actual crime took place in the detention center. I'm afraid I cannot accept that camera footage alone as evidence. As for evidence, I have it. I'm waiting for this girl to break down and drop her British accent. Well then, please show us your evidence. Where is the evidence that shows the scene of the crime was the detention center? Also her Japanese. Uh, voice clip instead of overall. It sounds like she says Capcom! 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 Okay. Where is the evidence that shows the scene of the blur? This is the floor. Oh, goddess of law! I am unable to comprehend your mysterious ways! This is what we discovered. The area here was tested positive for Mr. Knightley's blood. This blood test. Can it really be trusted? To begin with, how were you able to conduct a scientific investigation? Hmm. <laughs> I happen to have a subordinate. I can't vouch for his competence, but he is a man that I trust. <laughs> that detective? This concerns me. I cannot think why one would disturb the order of law. The Prosecutorial Investigation Committee's influence goes as far as the police department. <laughs> Gummy's in trouble! Forgive me, detective. I'm afraid something bad may come of this. I will accept the fact that blood was found in the detention center as evidence. However... OBJECTION! <laughs> How ridiculous! This is unthinkable of you, you third-rate prosecutor! Mr. DeBest... You're here? <laughs> I'd completely forgotten about him. <laughs> There's a giant contradiction in your statement. According to the security tape, a dog killed Knightley in his cell. Then, after he left the cell, the blood on the floor was wiped away. Ah! Did the dog wipe away the blood stains? As if that could happen. <laughs> that is possible of my Anubis, right boy? Now I know to never name a dog Anubis. What? <laughs> that was one of the tricks I taught him while I was still in the outside world. <laughs> he makes sure to hide any blood stains he makes. <laughs> cool. So as not to leave behind any evidence. Just it instantly destroys him. I was saved, if only by chance. Shouldn't you have taught your dog to shake or something? <laughs> Anubis also performs that trick very well. But the shake I taught him is a little different from others. First, he bites the victim's hand. No, stop! 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 I don't want to hear anymore! I see. I understand, Prosecutor Ed I love how we're trying to prove Dogan's the murderer, and we're like, the, the dog did it! It's like, that's possible. <laughs> <laughs> he's so proud of his dog that he's like, yeah, he could totally do that. <laughs> that's pretty good. It appears you've gathered...
gathered a good hand. I'm glad you understand. My argument isn't over yet! Objection overruled! Hey now, that's a little harsh. Sebastian, would you allow me the privilege of explaining? S sure, Justine. Do you finally realize? The murder occurred in the detention center. Therefore, that assassin's pet dog. My opinion has not changed. Unless I can understand how the dog was able to enter and leave the crime scene. I'm afraid I cannot accept your logic, Prosecutor Edgeworth. I've been waiting for you to say that. Now let me show you. This evidence shows the route the dog used to go between the detention center and the prison. Th this photo! It shows a secret tunnel hidden in the prison. Th 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 that's impossible! Th a secret tunnel! This tunnel was dug by the escaped prisoner, J. Elbert. So he basically pulled an Uncle Iroh, got super buff, and then was just like... <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what he did. It begins in his prison cell, and it's connected to a holding cell in the detention center. Namely, the victim's cell. I'm shocked. How did this... He's like, it's possible. <laughs> Dogen, you must have known of this. Since you used this tunnel to commit murder. That was actually Dogen who said that. <laughs> <laughs> it was the dog who said that. In the name of the goddess of law, I hereby reject Prosecutor Edgeworth's claim. What, what do you mean? Evidence is everything. That remains true here just as it does in the courtroom. Isn't that right? I have evidence here. Horace Knightley's autopsy report. Autopsy report? Edward I didn't get the chance to update that! He just updated it. Since when? Why are you surprised? <laughs> this was delivered straight from the police a short while ago. It's not complete yet. More of a preliminary report. Here, the very word of the goddess of law is written. Cause of death. Stab wound to the neck. Died instantly. Murder weapon. Sharp metal object. The victim was stabbed multiple times in the same spot with a sharp object. Teeth are sharp! Teeth can pierce skin. That would leave multiple wounds, though, not just a single one. Um. If a dog bit someone's neck that hard, there would be multiple bites. We haven't seen the dog bite. open his mouth. Maybe. He has Dogen, one tooth. Yeah, maybe <laughs> Dogen was like, I took the liberty of taking out all of his teeth except one. <laughs> it just is a knife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, didn't I tell you? I taught my dog Don't. how to stab people with knives. <laughs> I kind of love this character. Now. You love Dogen. Yeah, he's great. <laughs> Although they were unable to determine the actual shape of the murder weapon, they have clear proof that it was a sharp metal object. So, do you still stand by your claim that a dog used a sharp object to kill the victim? Th this can't be! That is all. The court is adjourned. But wait, there's more. The tunnel contains the dog's footprints. Perhaps it may have been one of Anubis's walking courses. I can never tell what Anubis gets up to outside my cell. Something feels unnatural about all this, but I have no evidence. Courtney Pye, uh, you, you sure pulled out a hidden gem at the very last moment. She waited for the perfect time to reveal the autopsy report. Have I let her outwit me again? Appointed attorney's shields. Here is the autopsy report from earlier. I apologize for the delay. No, it's all right. Thank you. <laughs> autopsy report jotted down. <laughs> I gladly accept instantly. it. Preliminary report. Victim, Horace Knightley, stab wound to the neck, died instantly, sharp metal Wrong! Object. He's 27! No, isn't... <laughs> he lied about his age! <laughs> no, he's 24. Yeah, he's 24, okay. Mr. Shields, I don't believe it's necessary to hold hands while exchanging a document. <laughs> what? He's the smoothest defense he's attorney. He's like, let me help you with that. It's, it's like William in Angelina Ballerina. <laughs> oh my gosh, the smoothest mouseling the world ever did see. <laughs> I'd advise you to stop. 
Huh? Persist any longer, and I shall call on the strength of the goddess of law. Uh, I'll be careful. J Justine! Well done! Just as I planned! I only acted in accordance to your instructions. Stop enabling him! <laughs> the autopsy report came straight from the police. I can't refute it. However, if the murder weapon wasn't the dog, Dogen will be cleared of suspicion. The merciful goddess of law so decrees. If you choose to yield now, your badge will not be taken. What? what will you do, sir? She says that, but... My answer remains the same. Judge Courtney, it is as I said before. I will see my job through. I will not yield to frets. So even now, you still refuse to give up? If you want to keep your badge, this may be your last chance. Right now, I am a defense attorney's assistant. What I protect is not my badge, but my client. The goddess of law grows weary of your sentiment. The boulder feels conflicted. <laughs> now we're talking. Miles is starting to understand that a defense attorney never gives up. Actually, those were the words of your old man. My father. It really is in your blood. You're the spitting image of him right now. You said it yourself. You've changed since you were tainted by Von Karma. It's only now that I've actually come to believe it. Mr. Shields? Well then, Miles? Now's the time to put those skills to the test. Think beyond your limits. Play chess. <laughs> Play logic chess with Courtney? Oh, you're gonna lose. <laughs> if the murder weapon was a sharp object, does that really negate your reasoning? The murder weapon was a sharp object. That's it. There were five chisels placed inside this special cell. Dogen is a former assassin. It's quite possible he could kill someone with just a chisel. In that case, the weapon that killed Horace Knightley was... Is that all? Well, then I suppose you'll be giving up. Evidence is everything. Didn't you say? Kristoff also said the, mm -hmm. the murder weapon was a sharp metal object. However, such a weapon has yet to be found. B wh what? So what are you trying to say? <laughs> the only decisive evidence is the actual murder weapon itself. And that was in plain sight this whole time. The real murder weapon is... Dogen's chisel. What did you say? <laughs> Take responsibility for your own statements. The scene of the crime was Mr. Knightley's cell. You said so yourself. If the evidence changes, then so will my logic. That too is courtroom procedure, is it not? If the chisel was used, that means the killer was human. However, the fact remains that we cannot deny this security photo. Y yeah what about that photo? I'll give you the answer. This photo shows the moment. The dog killed the victim, the dog leapt at the victim, someone attacked the dog. Uh... The dog couldn't have killed the victim since the, uh... The dog... <laughs> the dog couldn't have had the knife in the mouth. You're <laughs> right. <laughs> uh... I mean, obviously he leapt at him. Dogen's dog leapt at Knightley. However, the victim did not die at that time. Didn't die? He was only knocked unconscious. The dog didn't move a dead body. It moved the unconscious nightly. And the real killer was its owner. I see. If the victim was moved, it would have been possible for Dogen to commit the murder. And use the murder weapon. Indeed. The killer is Sirhan Dogen. It can only be you. <laughs> I bet your teacher used to write on your report card Needs to pay more attention on what others say. Wow. I would think that describes you more. We examined that room. Every nook and cr granny. Right, Justine? <laughs> Every crook and granny. Sorry. We examined all four of Dogen's chisels. And found no traces of blood. <laughs> Thank you, Judge Courtney. Thanks to you, I am now certain. Thanks to me? Whatever do you mean? When I came here earlier, I saw five chisels. That's right! There were definitely five before. Uh, so the one that disappeared was... The smallest one. 
Presumably for portable use. Dogen, where is that chisel? I'm not free to leave this place. I have no need of a portable chisel. Not free to leave? In that case, he mustn't been that free to hide the deadly chisel either. He was gone for a while though, remember? <laughs> Dogen, you just dug your own grave. It seems you know something. Would you care to show it? Dogen couldn't leave, so the place he hid the chisel is... In the special cell? Dogen is a prisoner, so he can't leave his cell freely. Perhaps he could have sent his dog out to dispose of it. But he would not have been able to confirm the weapon's location. <laughs> so what does that mean? Above all else, special metal tools are allowed in this cell. Even if one chisel were to appear here, no one would suspect a thing. You'd be a fool not to take advantage of that. <laughs> I see. Of course, it's always safest if you do something yourself. But I examined everything! I didn't find any hiding places in his cell! I am certain that the murder weapon is here. The reason you haven't found it is because it was cleverly hidden. <laughs> you said I hid it. Where exactly? Think. Where could he have hidden it? I have to remember everything up to this point. There must be some clue. The dog didn't bite him. Uh, does this mean uh, what I think it means? Let's get going, Mr. Edgeworth. Come to think of it, that dog hasn't barked at me once today. Previously, when I came to the special cell, it barked on Dogen's command. That's it! That's what's been out of place. There's just one place he could have hidden the murder weapon. I had an Gi idea. Giving up already? <laughs> How dull. How dull! I will present evidence. This piece of evidence shows where you concealed the murder weapon. How do we just show the dog? Hasn't your dog been awfully quiet today? Now that you mention it, he hasn't barked at all. Before it was... Sir Han Dogen, open that dog's mouth, now! Anubis doesn't bark needlessly. I ordered him to do that before. In that case, order it to bark now. Naturally, you should be able to. If you have nothing to hide. It was inevitable. Anubis, show them your mouth. As you can see, a dog of this size can easily conceal us how small chisel- What? Why a chisel? This dog really had one in its mouth! That's amazing. I thought he was unusually quiet. Was he not able to follow the discussion? Sebastian, could you call the forensics department? Urgently, please. Uh, I got it. They're the guys with the squeaky voices, right? Yep, I can do that. 